Hello, I'm Robin with Robin's Re3. I want to kind of zoom in here. Let's get a little more light. I started painting the turkey and I came up by accident. I painted the feather the wrong color and then it's like, oh wait, I don't want it that color. I'm going to paint it a different color. And then I went over this green one, the yellow with the green, and I want to show you what I did. All I did was paint over it. It's still, the yellow is still kind of wet. So I went ahead and I put the green on it, and then I went back and I blotted it. Let me move you in here so you can see a little better. There we go. But I kind of like how it brought the yellow to the top, but then took the texture from the paper towel and kind of added it to the feather. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you, what I did. I like how that turned out. It's very different. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that with the rest of them. I'm going to take the base of the feather and then I'm going to add a different color on top and blot it. Now I think for the orange one, I want to go ahead and I want to use the dark brown. So let's get the dark brown out here. I have this espresso. This was actually pale, pale daffodil, and then I put the English ivy on top. So let's try that with the orange, and let's see how that looks. I'm just experimenting with colors. I, I don't want them plain. I kind of want them to be different. So let's go ahead, and my paintbrush is kind of wet, so that kind of lends itself to giving the texture to the feather from the paper towel. I was going to go ahead and antique these, but I think now I'm just going to leave it like this. I may antique the edges, but see I'm kind of pulling off some of the brown, but then it's leaving. See this is the way it looked? And this is how it now looks, okay? It just gives it a more textured look. And this is just a regular paper towel, a dry paper towel. And I'm taking off a little more because I kind of like that. Don't you? Let's do the other one. I'm just dipping, my, dipping the excess um, water off of that. I'm just dipping it in here. Just gives it a little variation to the color. Now we're going to be working with this turkey tomorrow. So I kind of wanted to paint it ahead of time, but I like this technique. It makes it look like a weathered feather. So what color should we do on the yellow? Okay, I like how those came out. I like how that came out. So, let's go ahead and do orange on the feather, on the yellow feather, and see how that comes out. We can always sand it off and redo it if we don't like it. But let's go ahead and put the orange on there. I'm getting my fall colors on this and I'm getting a texture that I kind of like. I use these as my drying rack They're from an old shelving unit. Let's 
see each one comes out a little different than the last but it has a texture to it from the paper towel I love that I just want to give you some different techniques to try and then what I will do is to make sure I don't have any over on the edges I will go back with my baby wipe and make sure see look at that kind of gives it a unique look if you take off too much I'm just putting more back on I kind of like that though you're gonna like this set because we're gonna weave rope in and out of there and it's gonna look really neat I'm gonna put a little more back on this there we go okay we did get a little on the edges so I'll take a baby wipe it leaves you with a nice clean brown edge which is what you start with before you paint so it's consistent just not sure what I'm going to do for the red one I thought the top feather would look nice with the red You don't want to wait too long because if you wait too long then that's not going to come off all right so let's paint our top feather red and this is the barn red the top feather only has the two it's the shortest one of the bunch and it has just the two holes in it all right Let's clean off our brush. It's just kind of like a burgundy red, wine red. You could, if you want, even go back and do another color if you'd like just not sure what color to put with that maybe I'll try the yellow on top maybe that's what we need to do so just give it a second to dry because I don't think I want to do the green that's the base of my turkey there and he has some feet which I really want to do the orange technique over top of the yellow on the feet all right let's just try the yellow and see what it looks like like I said we can always we can always change it up Santa Fe red too and kind of add that if it 
made it too yellow or too pink, I will go back and add some brown. And I think we're going to do that right now. We're going to add the espresso to the top. I cheat sometimes. Ah! I don't put it in my thing. I just dip my paintbrush in there. Let's just add a little brown in there. This might be the one I end up painting over. Yeah, I want it red. Really red. So. darker red again too. Maybe that's what I should have done. Add the lighter red and then add the darker red to the top. That might have produced the color I was looking for. <clears throat> Okay, we should have done the lighter red on the bottom and then the darker red. But I am going to add a little of the espresso on top. let it dry a little more and then I'm going to add a darker red to the top. Although that doesn't look too bad. All right, I just thought I'd share with you that technique and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow when we complete this. Thank you.